Actually, there is a, a big social message that I'm all, always about, which is What's up everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More and this today I am in Dallas, Texas at Preston Hollow Bike Shop with Jason for a bike shop interview. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to everyone for liking, sharing, subscribing on Instagram and YouTube and remember to follow if you're not already following because it makes you feel good. Uh. Yeah, follow. Well, Honestly, I, uh, I started getting into biking because I was an athlete playing, you know, the big sports that you do in school and uh, I wasn't quite the uh, alpha athlete. So I had to kind of pick something to do once I got to a certain age where everybody was a little bigger and stronger, faster than me. So uh, I decided I needed a sport and cycling was kind of popular back then. It was uh, it was during the time when Greg LeMond won the Tour de France. and. This was the late 80s and you know, people in America was like, wow, this is a sport, this is cool. Uh, we should start doing it. And so I thought it might be something fun to do and decided to start riding a bike and I was like, wow, this is awesome. Like this is, uh, this is what I need to be doing. I start off racing, uh, at least that's what I wanted to do because again, I was an athlete so I thought maybe that would be the ultimate. Uh, I started off riding a 1986 Miata 312, which I actually have in the shop. Oh, nice. uh, it's nice. reconditioned. It looks actually better than it did when I bought it. The old school had the uh, shifters down on the uh, down tube, and you know all the really skinny 23C tires and all of the stuff that we used to have back in the day. Um, but I just thought it was awesome. It was my first like freedom bicycle slash you know transportation piece and I just went everywhere with it. That was here in Dallas? It was actually in Waxahachie which is outside of Dallas, a little small town. Okay. Uh, I think we had like 12,000 people there so real small. A lot of farm to market roads so it was a lot of cool cycling back then. My wife decided hey you need to open a business, maybe open a business that the community needs. So this little part of Dallas that we we're in didn't really have a bike shop that uh, could take care of the, the needs of, of the immediate area that we were in. And I was like, what about a bike shop? And the wife was like, yeah, that'd be a good idea. So it took us a little time, but we figured out what we wanted to do. And we opened up the shop and lo and behold, people liked what we were doing and we're off to the races. I'm Okay, so we're, we're close to Love Field for everybody that knows Dallas uh, a little bit, uh, which is kind of a, a little more central part of Dallas. We're at 3850 West Northwest Highway. So Northwest Highway has a west and an east side. We're on the west side. Uh, we're in a, uh, a big shopping area that has a hotel. So we're in Suite 1170. And what are your shop hours? We're open every day of the week. Uh, Mostly we're open uh, 10 to 7, so that's going to be Tuesday through Saturday. On Sunday, we're open limited hours, which are 12 to 5. And then on Monday, we take just a little bit of a break early, so we don't open till noon, but it's noon to 7. And how can people find you online? We're on our, our website, which is www.phbicycles.com, so ph for Preston Hollow Bicycles.com. You know, like most. Uh, metropolitan cities uh, can be a little dicey riding in with the traffic nowadays but one of the things that Dallas has done recently in the past few years which I'm, I'm really excited about is they've really gotten into connecting the city through bike trails there is uh, one really popular trail close to us called the North uh, Haven Trail we are also real close to uh, a small little uh, lake which is uh, Bachman Lake that has a little almost four mile loop to it uh, but there are a lot of connecting neighborhoods and things which you, you don't want to do both of those. You can find your way through uh, less traveled roads. Any messages or social messages you wanted to discuss or talk about? Actually, there is a, a big social message that I'm all, always about, which is respect. I want everybody to respect everybody. Earn respect, but give respect, especially in the cycling community. Uh, you know, we're not always... Uh, doing what everybody else is doing. It's sometimes popular, sometimes not, but I think it's important for our sport and our industry to get notoriety and get respect is that we show that respect to other people. That's motorists, people maybe that don't understand what we're doing, maybe they got a problem with what we're doing because it's a little bit different than what they do, but maybe if we can show a little bit of respect to them, we can get respect back. 
Right, I appreciate that. As I always say, keep it safe, keep it legal. I did notice on last night's ride, they did their best to keep everyone to the right lane. Yes. And they did stop quite frequently at the stop signs, at the stop lights, which I thought was great. Any shout outs uh, you wanna give? I love to give the shout out to everybody that gets out there and rides their bike. No matter what it is you're doing it for, whether it's competing, just getting out into the sunshine, letting those endorphins get turned on and feel better about yourself and feel better about what's going on in the world. Get out there and ride your bike. I'd like to also say, come ride in Dallas. Like we're becoming a really cycling friendly community. Uh, a lot going on here. A lot of industries moving here as well. So it's kind of a cool place to be right now. Cool, thanks. So if you're in Dallas, definitely come to Preston Hollow Bike Shop, hang out with Jason, come ride on one of the rides. For Ride Bikes More, I'm Luke and we are out. Mm-hmm.